Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today is another Single Seed Challenge 2022 update. I want to show you what's happening with little Poncho the Ancho Pepper. So without any further ado, let's see what's going on. If you're following along with Poncho's little life story here, you may remember that I was concerned that he was too cold here in the basement. We're in the basement of our house and it stays an even 65 degrees Fahrenheit down here pretty much all the time. And uh, peppers want to be a little bit warmer than that. But the thing is, our upstairs also stays at a pretty much a 65 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we set our thermometer to in our house for the heating because we're on oil heat here on radiators and it's a big house and it costs a lot of money to heat our house. So we keep it cool, 65 in the day, 60 at night. So he wouldn't really be any warmer upstairs than he is down here and down here he's been under the lights so he's been growing he hasn't died but he is slowly slowly so very slowly growing he st he lives back here on a heat mat in his little two inch cup that he got planted in here he is can you see he does have two true leaves uh he has his cotyledon leaves his seed leaves and there are two little teeny tiny true leaves coming along, but they're not very big and it's been very slow. He was planted, I believe on the 5th or 6th of February. I'm not exactly sure. Um, so he's a month old and he's still only this big. I think it's time to take this little guy upstairs let them live in the kitchen. If there's a warm room in our house, it's definitely the kitchen because of, you know, the stove and the oven that we use for cooking our meals. So. Poncho, how about we go up into the kitchen to um, live a happy life up there? Sounds like a good plan, right? Upstairs we go. You might be happier up there. I don't know. Let's see. I have a little grow station set up here for my basil. This is sweet basil. This is regular cilantro. And this is lemon drop basil. And I just pulled them up just today and I've put them under this grow light. It's a Fairy Morse single LED grow light. And it's on a countertop kind of stand situation here. I'm gonna make this all prettier, so don't pay attention to that. But I think this little guy, I should put him on a pedestal so that he comes up closer to the light. And I should keep him here near the stove so that he can be the warmest that he can be. I found this candle holder. Actually, this candle holder is 35 or th almost 36 years old. We bought this for our wedding reception back in the day. So I think he's going to live on this. Hopefully it's tall enough. Let's see. No, that's not even tall enough. All right, I got to find something taller. Okay, I found this jar of seasoning. We're going to say that that is going to be tall enough. So, Poncho, takes, take up your new your new home about an inch from the light it might be a little bit too tall but we're gonna say this is gonna work let's look at you from the side oh you know what that's still that's too close he might burn there uh, all right found something else all right we're gonna try this can of tuna on this candle holder maybe that'll be high enough let's see I'm gonna say, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so, Poncho, enjoy your new location, enjoy your new life. I hope you're happy in this new warmer spot with Mr. Starkist Tuna. What was that guy's name? What's that fish's name? Charlie the Tuna, is that him, Charlie? Charlie and Poncho, you can form a happy friendship here for a little while. So, that's my update. Poncho seems to be wanting more warmth and maybe a little bit more care. I did put some weak fish emulsion fertilizer on him today. I had mixed up a batch to put on some of my other seedlings and I gave him about, oh, about two tablespoons of water that had a very weak solution of fish emulsion fertilizer in it. So he has had his first feeding and I'm going to be planning on feeding him weekly on Wednesdays. So um, that is his nutrition plan until he grows a little bit bigger and then I will up pot him when he needs to. But right now he's just too small. He doesn't need a bigger house pot. He doesn't need anything really except um, 
more warmth. So I'm hopeful that this new location will keep them a little bit happier. So if you've got uh, suggestions or ideas for me about how to keep my ancho pepper a little bit happier, a little bit more healthy, please let me know in the comments below. I've never grown a pepper from seed before of any kind. So this is all new to me and I would love to have your suggestions. Again, my house stays at about 65 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, 60 at night, and my basement stays at 65. Now in the daytime, in the kitchen, we do warm up as we cook. So I'm hoping that the kitchen warmth will help him out. But if you've got suggestions for how to keep him even warmer, I would love to hear from you. And otherwise, I hope your single seed challenge is going well. I hope your plants are thriving. And whatever else is happening in your garden, I wish you all success with it. Have a wonderful day, friends, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.